much faith in humanity, do you? None whatsoever. I can't accept that. People are basically good, decent. Oh my God, David, we're a civilized society. Sure, as long as the machines are working and you can dial 911, but you take those things away, you throw people in the dark, you scare the shit out of them. No more rules. You'll see how primitive they get. You scare people badly enough. You can get them to do anything. They'll turn to whoever promises a solution. book of Isaiah 51 and 19 these two things are come unto thee who shall be sorry for thee desolation and destruction and the famine and the sword by whom shall I comfort thee thy sons have fainted they lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net they are full of the fury of the Lord Yahweh the rebuke of thy God and see the scriptures say that the kingdom was taken by violence and dead bodies shall lie in the streets of Babylon the great now we know that's twofold all right being spiritually dead and Jake lying dead in the streets so when the apex of America is fulfilled all right in these perils that we are about to see okay all right, because we saw back in October, Friday the 13th, that Biden announced there was a national jihad day. You see, so these devils are wilding, man. All right, when you watch these purge movies, it was always announced by the government. And that's what's coming, a purge on Jake. Because essentially Esau, all right, he's going to try to empower himself to be God. Okay, he's going to establish himself with his draconian laws and agreements pursuant to his new world order. And if you've been paying attention to what's going on and watching the prophecies, all right, there's a list of countries that have been overthrown by their governments through unconstitutional means, which is like a coup. All right, you see that in these movies that come out where these uh, mercenaries take over the White House or take over governments. And what's going on in those movies isn't too far-fetched of what can really happen, right? Because what if America gives, okay, amnesty to uh, international terrorists, all right? Giving them the power and the green light to come and kill you on sight without prosecution or conviction. See, they can just go wild on Jake. And that's what's going to happen when Jacob's trouble jumps off. You see, total anarchy. Total anarchy. And when this chaos, okay, begins to happen, Jacob is going to be the target. You see, the target is going to be on the Israelites. Hence why this prophecy is called Jacob's Trouble. Now, this is Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for the day is great, so that none is like it. Nothing that we ever seen, okay? Nothing that we ever witnessed or experienced is going to be like Jacob's trouble. All hell is about to break loose, okay? It says, even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. The men and women that fear the Lord, who the Lord's going to have a mark of exemption on, and he's going to be saved up out of it. She's going to be saved out of it. But Jake... All right, you're going to get massacred in the streets. Total annihilated out in these streets. Because they don't have a clue on what's coming. And that's actually very scary to think about. The delusion, all right, the spirit that the Lord put on them to not see, to not feel what's going on right now. All right, 2024, all hell is going to break loose, man. Okay, the enemies of the Lord are loading up right now with snares and traps, you know, ways to entrap you because he knows that his time is almost up. So the clock is ticking on evil E to do his thing, man. He's about to make a play. 
all right and we seen the aftermath of what happened with uh with crip 19 if you can pick up what i'm putting down all right we got to tiptoe around those certain words okay because we ain't nothing but an experiment just like tuskegee all right people dropping daily and the heavenly father yahweh while yahweh shy is going to allow eve and jake to be destroyed so the lord's going to use all right his glittering sword all right he gave esau edom the blessing of the sword and he gonna let him get busy all right these babylonians and Jake have made a covenant with death. So now is the calm before the storm. All right, all the false flags at the border right now. Babylon harboring and sneaking in foreign troops. We see it. Okay, UN troops. They ain't coming for Moab. They ain't coming for Ishmael. All right. Even though other nations is going to get it. But their eyes are focused to bring in trouble to Jake. Jacob's trouble. That's when the miseries are going to fall on two thirds of our people. All right. Now let's get that. This is 2nd Edges 8 and 50. It says, for many great miseries shall be done to them in the latter time. Shall dwell in the world because they walked in great pride. All right, so even the time of Jacob's trouble, law enforcement agencies, all right, you're going to have certain mercenaries that have been hired by Esau, Edom, to come and get you. All right, they will have a spirit of terror on them, man. When you read, all right, Jeremiah 30 in the NLT, it literally says, a time of terror. Okay, it says it will be a time for trouble for my people Israel. Yeah, so two-thirds and the wicked of our people. The Lord has a glorious day for you. The Lord has a day that he's going to forward to wash you away. All right? Use Esau, Edom as a cleansing agent to bring that fire on him. This is Jeremiah 30 and 7 in the NLT. It says, in all history, there has never been such a time of terror. It will be a time of trouble for my people Israel. Yet in the end, they will be saved. A time of trouble for my people Israel. That's going to be terror. Right? And who's the king of terrors? Right? The book of Job tells us the most high is. And we know that the spiritual demon Satan can't move a finger without the consent of the Most High. So the Lord is going to give them, all right, the green light for the slaughter in the cities of Babylon. And Jake has no clue what's coming. Don't you know in the scriptures that it says that the enemy shall come in like a flood? All right, like I said, the borders are open. Okay? And many enemies have snuck in. You got certain sleeper cells, again, mercenaries. All right? America is totally compromised and has enemies. So when martial law, all right, and civil war, when these things pop off, okay? Because it's imminent. It's imminent. Their focus is going to be on Israelites. You see, because Jake hasn't measured the times. Okay? Two-thirds of our people don't have discernment. Okay? And the rest of these Babylonians are about to celebrate Christmas and the next holiday and the next holiday. They don't understand what's coming. The Lord has America in a trick bag and our people is going to get caught out there. All right? Stumbling in their own vomit. The Lord said, you join unto them, you're going to get thrust through. You see, this is Nahum 3 and 3. The horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear, and there is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses, and there is none in of their carcasses. They stumble upon their corpse. 
okay? We're talking bodies on bodies. That's going to be the scene in Babylon the Great once Jacob's trouble, okay, jumps off, man. Because we know through the scriptures, it says that Satan should do what? He says Satan shall cast some of you in prison, which he will. Okay, he going to do that. But that's for a trial of feeding you idols while you're idle, which means you're going to be isolated. Okay? And we hoping that the chip is going to be on the scene. We hoping that all things come in the year 2024 so we can get the hell up out of here, man. Right? Because if you don't consent or bow to these devils, they're going to be looking to put Jake to death. Again, the scriptures say, no such time like ever before. So this is a prophetic event that we haven't experienced yet. This ain't happened yet. That's why this Bible is a living book. It said a great number of carcasses and there is no end of their corpse. They stumble upon their corpse. Okay? No time like ever before, man. So when these tankers that we see you know, riding on trains and going to different cities. Once they start getting activated and going into cities and these super soldiers, all hell and chaos is going to take place. Riots everywhere. Women screaming. Men screaming. Babies crying. Women crying. The rage of the enemy is going to overtake all ghettos and places of poverty this is coming all right along with your suburbs see because jake can't hide man all right but the men of the lord is going to be protected out of all this you see right because jake ain't gonna repent they're gonna think carnally they're going to be in the spirit of load up their guns and thinking that they can fight against Esau, Edom. You can't. We can't fight against something that strong. We need your Yahweh Shai. All right? But two-thirds are going to be carnal. This is Isaiah 6 and 10. It says, make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears. And understand with their heart and convert and be healed. Is Jake gonna do that? Is Eve gonna do that? No. So the Lord's gonna have them in derision. All right? Absolutely no answers. No answers. You ain't gonna know who to run to or who to get answers from because the prophets ain't gonna be on the streets. Okay? It's gonna be literally hell on earth in Babylon the Great that's going to be the climate because the city of confusion is going to be broken down let's get that alright and who is the author of confusion Satan man so Satan's going to be running rampant at this time this is Isaiah 24 and 10 the city of confusion is broken down every house is shut up and that no man may come in there is crying for wine in the streets all joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. All right? The mirth of the land is gone. You're going to be crying for wine in the streets, which means you're going to be looking, all right, to get answers. But the Lord said, In the city is left desolation, and the gate is smitten with destruction. So destruction is coming. And America is going to be like a third world country. All right? Egyptian against Egyptian. Neighbor against neighbor. All right? Civil war jumping off. Esau blessings is coming down on Jake, man. The vibration of the wicked will be programmed to attack. And, and, and take. All right? So your tears ain't gonna matter at this time all right they're not gonna care what's going on or what you say or what you can offer all 
right? And they coming for blood. Wasting cities, wasting homes. All right, Isaiah 6 and 11. Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without an inhabitant and the houses without man. And see, that's beautiful. Because this place is going to get utterly destroyed. And see, that's the prophecy. Wasted cities and wasted houses. You see, the land's going to be utterly desolate and two-thirds are not going to have a covering of the Lord. And the only way to be protected out of this is have a hedge of protection by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Ain't no other way. Ain't no other way. This has to be a spiritual miracle to keep us out of this destruction, man. Right? Second Ezra 16 to 72. Let's get that. All right? This is the context. Everything that you're watching, these dark nights, this destruction, this fire, Jake getting destroyed, these things are coming. This is why it's criminal. And it's heresy to teach that Jacob's trouble isn't going to happen. Right? You're going off if you're teaching that. Second Ezra 16 to 72. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. We just read that in Isaiah 6, 11. Cities wasted and houses without a man. And when this collapse of America becomes a reality. Hey, the men of the Lord still going to be around. All right? But he said, make your body a living sacrifice and suffer with him. And we've done that. We've done that. And we're continuing to do that. So we're praying when these things jump off and these times are hectic like this. Hey, we protected, man. Hey, we looking to be saved out of the time of affliction. Let's get that and I'll close out. All right, being saved in the time of affliction. This is Sirach 2 and 11. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy and long suffering, and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins, and saveth in time of affliction. And the time of affliction is when Jacob's trouble begins. All right, so this is happening, man. And we moving closer to these things. We seeing, all right, Babylon the Great crumble daily. So these devils are doing what they got to do to bring their new world order in. To bring their fourth industrial revolution in. This is the vibration of the wicked. But like we just read, the Lord saveth in time of affliction. So when the time of affliction begins, all right, we're going to read that scripture. We're going to hold on to that scripture. And we're going to believe it, man. All right? So I hope this lesson has been edified to the elect of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rekha Kadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Mr. Brother Azad Amaf. Shalom.